Hello everyone, and in today's video, I'll discuss one of the primary reasons for the significant reduction in AMC stock price since November 2021, in addition to examining some other extremely intriguing facts. Again, one of my primary hypotheses is that the price of gold decreases throughout the day and rises at night. However, before we continue, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. It's gratis. It only takes a fraction of a second. It helps me tremendously. So thank you very lot. As you can see from the graph, we've increased by more than 50% in the last five days, as said. And everything began on November 9, the day FTX essentially filed bankruptcy. Since the collapse of cryptocurrencies in 2021, these three super important AMC baskets are now traded against the USD strength. It was fascinating to observe as retail favorites began to get naked shorted at a rate of 50% every day. Now, in a recent blog post, I built a best feed naked short cure that accounts for any AMC related dilution. And is this one present? And as you can see, the price follows nearly flawlessly with a 7.5% dilution prior to 11. 21 and a 50% dilution daily after 11, 21. The dilution of the price action closely follows the price action. I infer that AMC is between 2.7 and 7 billion naked shorts in circulation at present, with a likely amount of approximately 5 billion. Interestingly, also the number of approved options. Around the beginning of November 2021, the price began to decline, and my dilution model predicts a 50% increase in naked short volume. Coincidentally, the price of cryptocurrencies also began to decline about this period, and AMC began to decline at the same time BTC began to decline. From this point onward, it is only downward, downward, downward. However, why is this occurring? As demonstrated above, the price of Bitcoin is inversely proportional to the strength of the US dollar, with a stronger dollar equating to a lower Bitcoin price. I haven't gone too deeply into the reason for it, but I assume it has to do with tether and cross-currency arbitrage. Late in 2021, when the USD strength began to rise sharply, I bet against the price of AMC, and here is the result. Observe this. Since it basically began to rise, 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 the price has continued to rise. It's exactly the same. Since 9-2-4-2021, the correlation between the U.S. dollar strength and the yen has been extremely negative, with a correlation coefficient of 0.81. This indicates the recent likelihood that one element is influencing the other. As can be seen, when the USD strength dips significantly, AMC soars. And when the USD strength rises again, AMC plummets. These trends are shared by the majority of the market. As can be seen, this is USD vs SPY Y, and well, it is experiencing the same thing as Ramsey. Consequently, this is an intriguing examination of why, seemingly, operates as an inverse dollar. And this situation began to improve around the close of the previous year. It looks that the US dollar governs the entire globe. Now, these are all fairly intriguing. Even while this one is present, gentlemen, these require somewhat more IBD. However, this is extremely intriguing, and I think it's somewhat visible when viewed from behind. If the dollar is stronger, it is usual for dollar-denominated items to decrease in price. Let's imagine I'm located in Europe and wish to make purchases in the United States. Obviously, I must convert my euros to US dollars in order to purchase MC. And the same is true for the entire market. Clearly, if I'm from Europe or anywhere else in the world and the USD is stronger, I will need more euros to purchase that item. And as a result of the price increase in the United States, a large number of people made gains. One of the primary reasons why my portfolio isn't performing as poorly as one with the same assets in the United States is that the majority of my assets are located outside the United States. This is due to the fact that if I were to switch my euros back into US dollars right now, I would receive a lot more euros. Therefore, this is a very, very intriguing development, which explains why a large number of people have exited the market at this time. This is hardly a lot of money for Americans, but we all know that most of the money that enters the market originates from outside the United States, both specifically and in general. Even for you, as presidents and people who use the dollar as their native currency, if the dollar is stronger, costs tend to decrease. This has no relation to inflation, exit, etc. Therefore, 
I will discuss the prices of assets. Consequently, I believe that this is one of the most important variables, as it is obviously tied to the overall economic situation. And naturally, the blood and manipulation we experienced is one of the primary reasons why AMC is actually declining. And I wanted to communicate that to the OECD as much as possible. Furthermore, this is manipulation at its finest. Now let's examine the data. But first let's examine this item. Now, this is Credit Suisse's Chris Funder. And this is the number of shares that should be trading. In the darkness beside the bicycles, there are 547,000 shells. Clearly, this is a large amount. But it is not absurd. I believe that the waters could accommodate millions. Approximately 5, 10, or 15 million shares, or possibly 2,050 million have been displayed on AMC or Naked Shorts. However, I believe that one of the greatest shortcomings of the last thing is the data. Your data is truly beginning to improve. Obviously, it is not the best, but it is readily manipulated because it involves additional filings and so on. It's pretty, it's not particularly practical, but it's excellent because it's beginning to reveal some pretty good things. Initially, the CTB. Thus, the cost of borrowing is increasing significantly. I made a number of films about them. And it's essentially this news story about the collapse of the CFTC. Essentially, Citadel and all the shorts are currently having a terrible time there. They are forced to use one of the greatest methods available to produce synthetic shares. Hide them and short them. Now it has vanished. Therefore, CTB is increasing because the current share price is considerably higher. Currently, the shares themselves particularly the fraction of the free float, are increasing somewhat more. And when you are criticized every single day, you begin to realize, you know what, I don't know, and I shouldn't be telling people whether I believe the price will rise or fall. It is none of our concern if you discuss AMC stock here. We discuss the news. We discuss what's occurring. I do not know I'm unsure. Despite being from the land of the prophets, I have no idea what will happen to the price of AMC. I believe this is yet another reason why they are beginning to employ genuine shares. I believe this is why we've seen such a large run-up over the past few days. Now, obviously, we went down today, but I wouldn't call it a major development. Overall, gentlemen, I believe that our prospects for the future are not terrible, at least in my perspective and when all factors are considered. And again, I believe that we have a number of pretty significant triggers between the SEC-related matters that should take impact very soon. Moreover, the FDA will expire, and the DT plus 90 added a great deal of complications to this situation. Moreover, I believe you should watch these videos immediately since I explain these concepts in much greater detail. And gentlemen, in my opinion, they are crucial if you wish to remain current in the crypto field. Remember to monitor crypto news and bills. The link will appear twice in the description. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, please let me know in the comments. What is your opinion? Please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next issue. Bye-bye.